the largest steam turbine in the world. Does Arabelle know that name? It sounds like the name of a movie protagonist, a teen singer or something like that. But no, we are talking about steam turbines. The name may seem a bit delicate, but there is nothing delicate about it. After all, we are talking about nothing more and nothing less than the largest steam turbine in the world. Want to know more about her? Details and some curiosities. Stay with me until the end of this video because that's what I'm going to talk about today. Take the opportunity to subscribe to the channel. If it wasn't written and leave a like or dislike there. A while ago, I posted a poll on my LinkedIn profile about the length of the world's largest steam turbine blade, and in this same survey for us to make a video on the subject, as well as the turbine where it is mounted. That's why I'm here. By the way, if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn yet, I'll leave the link below in the description. Add me there to chat or find out more about turbines. Steam, okay? Before then, I'll answer and satisfy your curiosity. The largest blade of a steam turbine in operation is from this same turbine which I'm going to talk about today is 1,752 millimeters long. Looks big, right? But his record is already being broken. It has actually already been broken because the largest reed in production, already tested and approved for installation on the turbine, measures 1,905 millimeters in length, almost 2 meters. Both are from the last stage of the turbine. But let's go. What are we talking about? Arabelle is the model of the largest steam turbine ever built in the world. Comparatively, it is larger than an Airbus A380. Designed to last 60 years of operation, the turbine has a reliability of 99.96%. According to the engineering department of its manufacturer, GE Power, the Arabelle turbines are so big that, as I said, its blades alone in the last stage of the low-pressure module extends for almost 2 meters in length, precisely 1905 millimeters to handle the entire steam flow of the process. The rotor of this turbine is assembled and tested at the GE factory and placed in a specifically designed balancing well. For large turbines, the stage assembled with this 1905 mm long pallet, that is, the wheel, it is 8 meters in diameter and was tested at a rotation of 1,500 revolutions per minute. Have you thought about that? Arabelle is the model of steam turbines, the largest in the world and is used in steam nuclear power plants. The average volume of these plants is five times the volume of gas-fired plants of the same size. Currently, Annabelle turbines are already used in a third of the world's nuclear power plants. These turbines, Arabelle is a giant raised by giants. The name of the turbine itself is a reference to its history. The air comes from Alstom's energy business. That GE completed the acquisition in 2015. Or A for Arabelle points to the French inventor, August Ratto, who was the first in everything from steam turbines, fans for mines, gas compressors, centrifuges and other inventions. And Bell means Belfort, a French city where it is located. The unit that manufactures these largest steam turbines in the world. About the inventor of steam turbines, mentioned earlier, August Ratto already has a video here on the channel talking about him. In fact, there is a series on the history of the steam turbine. That speaks not only of him, but of many others. Characters related to the evolution of steam turbines. I'll leave the card up here for anyone who's interested. When you have some time and want to know more curiosities, watch it there and leave a comment with what you thought. So it's there in the French city of Belfort, emerging from a large industrial park, within the city limits where the unit that manufactures these turbines is located, with an area of several football fields and warehouses over 80 meters high, taller than Notre Dame Cathedral in the capital, Paris. Inside, GE Power employees build and test turbines and generators. Steam, including these colossal steam turbines, Arabelle over 70 meters tall. Each turbine module is almost the length of a jumbo, a Boeing 747 to manufacture these turbines. This industrial plant is the only one in the world capable of manufacturing this type of turbine. This requires special tools and foundations. Due to its weight, thanks to the resurgence of nuclear power in Europe, Asia and Africa. In addition to the project to install the first Arab turbines in the United Kingdom, GE's portfolio includes turbine contracts and other equipment for new power plants in Hungary, Finland and Turkey. The Queen recently announced that she had won a deal to provide four turbine generator sets, including four Arabel turbines. In Egypt, the plant will generate 4.8 gigawatts, enough to power more than 4 million Egyptian homes. The plants use the heat generated by controlled nuclear fission to boil water. The resulting steam travels through a series of turbines that collectively generate electricity. Each of the power generation modes designed to generate 
contains four turbine modules and one generator. Most famous project using these giant turbines in the United Kingdom will be one of the largest nuclear power plants in Europe. When it goes into operation in 2025, the turbines are going from there. Birthplace, a GE factory in Belfort, France, with destination. England, where EDF Energy is building the project. The plant, which is expected to be completed in 2025, will generate low-carbon electricity, enough to supply about 6 million homes, or about 7% of the UK's energy needs. In addition, it will create 25,000 jobs. The UK government has approved the 18 billion euros project, the equivalent of 128 billion Brazilian reals. Here you can understand the evolution and competition a little better. Of the main manufacturers of steam turbines are higher power turbines and greater efficiency in commercial operations and manufacturing since 2012. Note the power of the turbines from Toshiba and GE, EA Power Machine, a Mitsubishi, Siemens, Alstom, Arabel steam turbines provide power outputs of 700 at 1900 megawatts in 50 and 60 hertz cycles. Its unique single flow steam expansion design improves. The efficiency of their engines welded into a low exhaust design. Independent pressure reduces dynamic loads on the foundation. The Arabel turbine design results in three modes. In the first expansion of steam in a single flow high pressure path. In this turbine, the steam expands in a single flow intermediate pressure section. Before passing through the four, six or eight low pressure streams, 60% of the energy comes from highly efficient single steam flow expansion. Not at all. Each Arabel turbine will be around 70 meters long including the generator. Additionally, Arabel is recognized for her high reliability rating of 99.96% in 400,000 operating hours for any back pressure condition. The total weight of this complete turbine is 1,100 tons. However, she is quite quick about the effect of heated steam at 290 degrees Celsius and under a pressure of 75 bars. Arabel rotates at 1,500 revolutions per minute and produces an average of 1,760 megawatts of electricity. The entire Arabel turbine blade family features a profile, three-dimensionally designed with high aerodynamic performance. We've already talked about picks on the channel. I'll leave the card here. Go take a look. What are reeds? All rotary vanes, except the last stage vanes, are integrated to minimize loss, i.e. machined into the rotor itself. The manufacture of reeds, as a single unit of a single block eliminates separate parts. The reed structure remains after machining, helps ensure reliable and consistent frequency control. What do you think about that turbine? Leave it here in the comments. Take a look at those blue structures there. Those are the 16 meter high columns. In total, there are 15 columns like this that will receive more than 2,500 meters. Cubic meters of concrete that will support the largest steam turbine in the world. The low pressure turbine rotor alone weighs 280 tons. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Reminding you to access the channel. There are many other videos about turbines right here on the channel. Leave a like to help me. Thank you for your company and patience.